Hi there, Lloyd Macedo speaking to you from LloydMacedo.com. Who's Lloyd Macedo and Think Personal Branding? I thought I'd just give you my thoughts about the dangers of online content. Okay, today, all you got to do is if you go up online, you'll get Google, which is always the default search engine, or you go to Chrome, you type out what is it that you want to see and you get that possible information or that particular information. Now, in a way that is good, because let's say, for example, I'm religious, I'll get religious information. If I'm uh, uh, science-based, I'll get science-based information. If I'm looking for coaching, business, uh, bodybuilding, self-improvement, uh, even uh, gory stuff or porn, whatever. Whatever it is I'm searching for, that is exactly what I would get. But now, the on one side, it is a really good thing. But on the other side, I would say it's a very dangerous thing. And why do I say this? See, there is always a tendency for us to uh, subscribe to what we believe. Let's say, for example, let's take religion. Muslim guy will believe Islam is real. Hindu guy will believe Hinduism is real. Christian guy will believe Christianity is real. Uh, then if you look at an internet marketer uh, or a person who believes in internet marketing and he puts that information, he'll get all the people who say internet marketing is real. You type in uh, someone who believes in charity, you'd get all the people who believe that charity is real. You believe you Google a place where uh, people have dedicated their lives to looking after dogs and cats and rats and snakes. You'll get exactly those kind of people. But now, let's say someone who's a hardcore biker versus someone who is not a hardcore biker. They would say like, what the hell are you doing? Spending millions of dollars on uh, biking equipment and being a biker. While a biker would look at a non-biker and say, what's wrong with you? You know, you don't have a passion for biking. Uh, bodybuilder versus, let's say, a marathon runner. Bodybuilder always likes to be big and huge. Marathon runner likes to be thin and light. Okay. So there are two opposing forces. Now, someone who believes Islam is the only religion versus a Hindu who believes Hinduism is the true religion. They'll always have a clash. Now, what happens here is you tend to have the concept called cognitive dissonance. Cog cognitive dissonance or confirmation bias, what it means is what you want to believe, it, you will only search for that information that confirms that belief. Let's say, for example, I am a Hindu. I want to believe that Hinduism is a real religion that people who have prayed to the Hindu gods have been healed. I will search online for only those examples that prove that people who are Hindus were superior. People who prayed to the Hindu gods got healing. People who uh, uh, had the prasad or the, uh, the offerings from the Hindu gods, they got healed by the Hindu pundits or the Hindu gurus. Okay. However, if you see a Muslim guy, a Muslim guy would search for, okay, he converted to Islam and God heard his prayers. He went to Mecca, Medina. Uh, he did a pilgrimage. His life changed forever. He was living a life of sin and now he's spiritual and he's a better person. So we tend to search only that information that reaffirms and confirms our belief. Now, this is where the danger takes place. We tend to cherry pick. It's called cherry picking. So out of all this information that is a good, bad, ugly, good, bad, ugly, we'll only pick up, oh, good, okay, this confirms my belief, this confirms, oh, this one supports my belief. This can be a problem because we will then want to convince ourselves what we want to believe. And this is where uh, the root cause of all problems take place. When I was a conservative uh, Catholic Christian, born and raised in a reserved family, those days there was no Google. But, and the internet was not developed, uh, at least for normal people. Uh, there was no computers. But though, even those days, being a Catholic Christian, I would only interact with Catholic Christians. I would only meet the church crowd. I would only meet people who would say, Jesus is the real uh, person, is the truth and the life. Okay? And that is what I did. Until... You know, situations challenged my beliefs and I started questioning things. I started questioning the Bible and I started meeting with people who are not Christians, who are, you know, uh, who are atheists, who are Muslims, who are Hindus, who are uh, uh, people following uh, the religion, uh, you know, the Jainism lifestyle. So I started meeting different people and I started getting different views. So I asked myself, okay, 
Christian believes Christianity is real. Muslim believes Muslim, uh, Islam is real. Hindu believes Hinduism is real. Guy who follows Buddhism believes Buddhism is the way, the truth and the life. So who's right? That means which religion I was born into is a true religion. So I could be born in any religion. It's a luck of the draw. So that is where I started questioning myself. And because I questioned myself, because I played the devil's advocate, because I challenged the very beliefs, I was able to learn and grow. So what I'm trying to tell you is when you are talking of online content, please be careful that you, are, you have not made up your mind to believe whatever you want to believe. That is why I don't deal with the youngsters. That is why I don't deal with, deal with people who completely are convinced that they are true. That is why I never debate with anyone because it's useless, it's pointless. Because no matter what you tell them, they will choose to believe what they want to believe. No matter how much ever evidence you give them, they would say, no, for every evidence that you have, I have my evidence from Google. So what can you do? So this is what I want you to keep in mind when you're checking online content. Be careful if you're cherry picking and you're just trying to get the information that you want to believe is right, that confirms your belief, then you are just pushing yourself in one direction and maybe that direction is wrong. So that is where political uh, you know, divides take place, religious divides take place. And that is why the human race is always divided into so many issues. So live from LineMesido.com, who's Line Mesido and Think Personal Branding, sharing with these views. Like the video, give it a thumbs up. Don't like it, thumbs down. Put your comments, I'll always read them. This is me signing off for now. Take care.